In this example, we're going to take a look at this quadratic function, and we're going to start by finding its x and y intercepts, and we'll do so algebraically, and then at the end we'll take a look at the graph and see how we did. All right, so it looks like this quadratic function is written in vertex form, and remember we can always exchange this f of x with a y, and so let's go ahead and do the x-intercepts first. Remember there are either 0, 1, or 2 x-intercepts for these quadratic functions. And so we can find it algebraically by plugging in 0 for y and then solving. All right, so if this f of x is our y, let's go ahead and start by plugging 0 in for it. And then we'll write the whole right side down. And it has an x right there. And that x is what we're going to solve for. All right, so we can start by adding 27 to both sides, so those will cancel. So it looks like I have 27 equals 3 times this quantity that we're going to square. Well, let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 so we can get rid of that constant out front, so we can just have this squared business on that right side all by itself. And so this x plus 5 squared is on the right, and our 9 is on the left. So let's go ahead and do the square root of both sides. When we do so, remember, we will need to add this plus or minus with this non-perfect you know, perfect square side. So I'll have a plus or minus 3, and then over here on the right it'll be x plus 5. So let's minus 5 from both sides, and it looks like we'll have a negative 5 plus or minus 3 equals uh, our x values. So that'll be a negative 5 plus 3 and a negative 5 minus 3 will equal these two x values. You can just x sub 1, x sub 2 or whatever for our roots here or our intercepts actually. So this first guy will be a negative 2 and this guy will be a negative 8. So we can write each of those as an ordered pair. So it will be negative 2, 0 and negative 8, 0. Okay, so here are the two x-intercepts that we're going to have. So let's swing back up and see if we can also identify algebraically our y-intercepts. So remember we can do the y-intercepts by plugging in 0 for x and then solving. So y equals 3 times this quantity here, so it'll be 0 plus 5 squared minus 27. So y equals 3 times, well, 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 squared is 25. So it looks like we'll have 3 times 25, which is 75, minus 27. And we know that uh, 75 minus 27 is going to be, what, a 48 it looks like. And so we can write this ordered pair as well. 0, 48. And that'll be our y-intercept. So we have three intercepts, 0, 48, negative 2, 0, and negative 8, 0. We found these algebraically, and for the x-intercept, we plug 0 in for y and solve for x. For our y-intercept, we plug 0 in for x and solve for y. Let's go ahead and finish the video by showing you a graph and seeing how we did.